Okay, now you can see the vacuum motor here. This is vacuum motor, and here is anti recoil tank, which which is prevent prevent the materials recoiled back to the vacuum motor when the tank when the dispenser is running the materials mate recoil back to the motor so we need this recoil bank uh, recoil tank to protect the vacuum motor okay let's go back to the main tank Let's start this part. This part is heating part. Where um where we heat where we uh, could heat the heat the tank. Here here is heating part. Okay. Um here is it's out volume where uh, you can release the um heating materials like water or oil here this place we can input the heating materials uh, like water or oil okay um, the left side this one it's this side light where you can uh, where you can give you can give the lights inside the tank. Here, here we connect to the, use the pipe to connect to the, connect to the anti-recoil tank. So here we can evacuate the air inside the tank. This one is vacuum meter. Here is where we feed the materials when the tank, when the dispenser is running. Here, th those two is mm, easy con easy connect port, which connect inside the tank. Here is window, so. When the tank is running, you can see the status inside. Okay, this one, this one is really releasing port. So um, after you after you run the after you run the vacuum, um, if you want to release the air inside, you you can just simply release the air inside. So, uh, to release the vacuum start state, uh, release the vacuum state back to the um, regular air state. What else? And here is materials output. button the tank is moving up okay. when we press down button the tank is moving down Okay, when we press the high speed on button, the dispenser is running. The high speed dispenser is running. Okay. We can turn down the speed. And if you press the edge speed off, the high speed dispenser will be off. Okay. Uh, when we press the button, L 
made of the square beam is one inch. The sparping is off. 